guys it is your girl Patricia welcome to my channel today is I think it's December 3rd 2018 how you guys doing how you living how you feeling listen I'm gonna get these videos out I promise you I'm gonna get these videos out. Sorry guys, you guys can't see me well. There's a lot of things in the way, but whatever. Let me take this off. Today we are doing like a day in the life type of situation, okay? We gonna try it. I really wanna try to get these videos out weekly, but it's tough um, because of just everything that's going on with me. And it, it, right now it's just, it, we'll get to it in a minute too. Um, it's just been really difficult. So let's put the sunglasses back on. For those of you guys who watch my vlog channel, you guys know that I usually, I typically upload, um, I but kind of record little pieces throughout the week, and then I upload once a week showing you guys what my week was about. Since that's a little difficult for me to do these days, like, for instance, I'm working overtime on my job this week and next week, it's just it's a lot and y'all get tired of me be like I'm going to work I'm going to work I'm going to work you know what I mean the things that I'm doing outside of work you know it's I, I don't know I'm going to share some of like my wedding plan stuff because um, I've gotten questions about it but I don't want to like overload you guys with like wedding plan wedding planning another thing and I'm, I hate to talk your ears off but I'm just gonna catch you guys up all in this moment and try to catch some of the questions I'll get another thing guys you guys know I moved to Maryland when I moved to Maryland I moved back in with my parents so that's another thing that makes it really really difficult the initial plan of me moving back in with my parents was the thought that I would be um, I, you know, I had this like 16 month plan, um, to, uh, save up and purchase, um, for a home. Well, I had already had started saving, but purchase a home for a uh, purchase a home and it was going to be in this area. But then, you know, God has other plans, right? I ended up getting engaged in the process. And so, um, which kind of adjusted, you know, my plan a little bit, but that's what I did. My plan was to leave Pittsburgh, come to Maryland, um, move in with my parents, um, save up for a year, and then start house um, house hunting. And until I fell on something that I liked, by that time I had, would have a good down payment, I would have gotten my credit in a better situation, and I would be able to actually start, you know, to own a home so I was really excited about that you know moving back home has its own things and maybe we could talk about that too I feel like there's a lot of people that I'm close to right now that that are moving back home in the in the to buy a, to purchase a home to save up for purchasing a home and um yeah there's three of three people that I know right now that are doing it and we have like a little bit like they're like my support group you know what I'm saying I've been out of the house since I was 17 and so sometimes it's difficult adjusting being back home whatnot my family's great though um and it's it's just it's different it's not like bad it's just different and for me as an introvert and i like you know regimented things i like my things done my things a certain way and sometimes if i can get if i get out of my little regimen you know i kind of get stressed and anxious but and also the things that i love to do take a back seat because there's so many people in the house that you know i'm not able to like record a video without somebody interrupting me and stuff like that which is why the last video i uploaded was in an office um, um, and that worked out fine uh, but also because I work so much it's hard to find time to reserve for the office too so there's a lot of things going on but I promise you guys I'm gonna get these videos out even if it's just old-school style in the bathroom I don't care anymore you know with all the extra theatrics and all that stuff is good especially for the like, beauty type videos but if you guys enjoy the videos where I'm just sitting down and talking to you and so that's what we're gonna do whether I'm sitting down and getting ready for my day doing my makeup or whether it's in the car on my way to work or on my way to run errands this is what we gonna do and this is how we gonna do it so today is Monday I just got back from Jersey three o'clock this morning guys so um, I am in a long-distance relationship that's another thing I would love to talk about we might actually talk about that if you guys have questions about long-distance relationships let me know if you guys want to have like a discussion about that um, let me know if I do do that I'd probably do it premiere style like we did for my last singles club video I love the fact that I was able to talk to you guys live as the video premiered that was so fun shout out to all you guys who participated in that I think that'd be cool so anyway I'm in a long-distance relationship I spent the weekend with my fiance and my fiance's mother this past weekend I came back to Maryland around 3 o'clock this morning 
it's about 10 o'clock now i'm in a rental car um it's some sort of mazda it's really nice i like it it's like leather interior it's red on the outside yeah it's real nice it's it's cute so i'm returning the car um now i'm gonna return the car um and then after i return the car i'm gonna take an uber back to the oh i just realized something okay so i have to take the Ooh. return the car come back to the house and pick up another car to go to get my nails done my nails i have i got this gel color which is actually gorgeous this color right here but it peeled off i realized that some of these gels don't like adhere well and i don't know if it was the way the nail tech actually did it i don't know and i also got the um coffin type is it coffin is that what this is the color is like peeling so they need to go and redo that for me so i need to go get that done after that i'm gonna go to the gym after the gym i'm gonna pick up lunch probably from like panera I'll probably get a salad and then head back here and then do my planning for the week um like in my actual erin condren planner which i haven't done yet for the week sit down and do that and then after that i'm going to take a nap because i actually have to work tonight and we'll take you along my job and i'll try to vlog a little bit just a little bit uh throughout my day just so you guys can see what a typical crazy day is because i feel like most of my days are like this where they're they're crazy i mean i get off of work in the morning and then i have my first bridal appointment where i'm trying on dresses and everything tomorrow so i get off at 7 30 in the morning come home it takes me about an hour get to the house take a nap and then in the afternoon i have my bridal appointment and then after that i have like a meeting with a wedding coordinator um like a first meeting on the phone consultation type of situation it's just been like crazy lately i i, I really don't know how else to explain it um yeah so that's what we're about to do guys you guys are gonna come along with me so um yeah let's go Time to stress get too thick, you know what I mean? People always got something to say. Always trying to put you in a box. Sometimes I just need to get away, you know what I mean? Just me, myself, and I. It's four walls. Let's go. Yeah. So, Niggas I'm getting back to the house. <sighs> From the rental place. And now I'm going to take one of these cars here. And, um head out to the mall where I get my nails done so <laughs> so my car situation is a little bit complicated right now my car is out of commission right now I'm driving one of my parents cars uh, I really just drive whatever car is available between like seriously my mom has two cars my dad has a car my sister has a car um, so there's a lot of cars here to use. <laughs> oh, that's another question I get a whole lot is uh, how does it feel being separated from Alice and everything like that. We're not separated yet, so when that, um, when I have that emotion, then I'll, I'll, I'll share it, how it feels and stuff like that. Yeah, so I haven't dealt with that yet, but when I do, I definitely will share that with you guys. I just got a package from Alta. So let's do like a quick haul. Can we do that? Can we do that in this video? I feel like this video is about to be super long. But I still want to do it. So I participated in Ulta's Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday sale, I'm sorry. And the reason why is I actually found an Ulta gift card in storage that my mom gave me years ago. And I was like, this is perfect. So I decided to use it. So let's show you guys what I got. The first thing I got were these lashes. These lashes were on sale for like 50% off. And they're the ones that have that are like the influencer ones um, by um, Ilore. And I really like these. I feel like they're super stylish. Um, and they remind me of um, the Coco lashes that I usually get. Anyway, I got the Vegas Nay Absolute Allure. I got that. And that's what the, that looks like. And then I also got the Jasmine Brown. It's funny because I've never watched these people. I don't know if they're YouTubers, Instagrammers. I don't know. But this Jasmine Brown girl is gorgeous. Her hair is beautiful. Um, and it's called Curly Queen. 
I guess that's what that's called, even though the lashes aren't really curly. But they're kind of similar, except for these are a little bit longer. I also got this Makeup Revolution um, brow pomade. I don't use brow pomade because I have such thick natural brows that I always feel like brow pomade looks too like too much too harsh you see how that looks like to me that's too harsh got my makeup done recently and the person used a uh, pomade and the way she did it wasn't overpowering so I'm starting to think that maybe it's not the actual pomade but how people are applying it so I actually wanted to try it on my brows to see if it would work for me the next thing I got is this um, Sky Z Gioia Eau de Parfum by Giorgio Armani um, Ulta had a sale where if you bought a perfume, you got a free blanket or a free robe. And I love those Ulta robes. So here's the robe that I got. I actually like Giorgio Armani perfumes. The last one I had was the Aqua, the Aqua one. And so this one had really good reviews on um, perfume... Oh, what is that website called? I'll put it up on the screen. I can't remember, but it's the ones that shows you all the notes, um, the sillage, the uh, lasting power, uh, fr fragrantica, fragrantica. I think that's the name of the website. Um, and I love that website when it comes to like researching scents that I haven't yet smelled before. And even if I've smelled it, I still like to look it up on that um, website just to get an idea of what other people thought about the perfume. I also have like a. Um, a scent bird subscription that I'm actually gonna stop this month but I picked up Calvin um, Klein's Euphoria I think it's very wintry I don't think this is too wintry based on what I read but kind of like an all seasons type of one because it's very floral from what I read but that Calvin Klein one um, that I just got from scent bird that one is a for sure for sure winter scent fall winter scent next few things I got are I got these here because they were on sale buy two get two free and so I bought two and these were the these are the Ulta Beauty brush uh, cleansing solid soaps I really like these I didn't even think this is <laughs> this is really big I didn't even think it was gonna be this big I like these because it's just super easy to just swirl the brush brush in here you never use them they're literally like a soap solid in there you rub the brush until it's clean you rinse it under running water and then you're done so I bought two and I got two free um the next two things I got I wanted a new body wash body lotion combination I wanted really to research a new brand when it comes to my skin especially something like your body your skin is so 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 important I'm like you know the really highly fragrant stuff stuff are really good but for something as important as soap um, and lotion I kind of want to start transitioning I, it's I, I feel two ways about it because I really love to smell good but on the other hand you know, I, I know important how important your skin is, you know, and some of the highly fragranced things that have a lot of chemicals in them. So, slowly making the tra transition. This is the first brand I'm deciding to try out. I'll let you guys know how I think about it, but this is, um, the brand is called Hand in Hand, and um, it is a natural, vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff that I was looking for. It has a great story behind it. For every product purchase, Hand in Hand donates one bar of soap and one month of clean water to a child in need okay and let me tell you get this guys this child in need is not just anywhere this child in need is in Haiti and so when I read that about this company I was so 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 excited because you guys have been watching the channel you guys know my parents um, were born and raised in Haiti and Haiti is very very dear to my heart this is the body lotion and this is the body wash and the scent that I got was is called cactus blossom so I hope it smells good a lot of these natural type products you know they have like these earthy herbally smells that I'm not really a fan of but let's see what this smells like okay that's nice it's nice and fresh Oh. The last few things are makeup products, and I'll show you guys these. I bought a few concealers. I wanted to try this eight Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I hear really good things about this concealer, so I wanted to try it. It's by Maybelline, 
I, I intend for it to be a highlight. And then I also bought the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in um, 35 Deep. They yeah, 35 Deep. And um, yeah, 30, is that what? I'm thinking that, anyway. So yeah, 35 Deep, and I've used this before. I used to use it for my eyebrows. This can go anywhere. I really like this concealer. People compare it to the um, NARS Radiant concealer. So I picked that up. I also picked up another NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is what I typically use for my brows. And then, oh, the last thing that I got is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I really like to use eyebrow gel just to keep my brows in place all day and um, the next one has good reviews so I wanted to try that one. The one I currently use is the Rimmel one. Sometimes I use the e.l.f. one. I like that too. So I just wanted to try something new. But yeah, that, that was my purchase from Ulta. Super excited about that. Anyway, let me go ahead and get out of here guys. 38 special. I ain't the type to press you or here to impress you. I'm just trying to shine like my neck do. This guy giving talent I got. Alright guys, so the nails are finished. Now it's time to head on to the gym. This mall in a lot of ways feels like home to me because I used to work at finish line in this mall. This is all in high school and in college. So the times where I came home for the summers, I worked here in high school. My very first job was at this mall. Um, and it was, I worked at Finish Line and I worked there for a few months. Um, then I started working at Sears because they paid more. So I stayed at Sears for like the rest of high school. And then um, I left Sears and obviously left for college. And I came here either the first summer or the second summer I worked at JCPenney here. So it has a lot of weird memories here for me. Um, the lady who does my nails has been knowing me since high school essentially. Um, she still has the place and it's just interesting because today I had a weird experience with her. So the first time I came back here which was in August when I moved. So I came back here shortly after then to get like a fill or whatever. And she was like, it's been a long time since I've seen you. And she like showed me her son who was there. And I remember when she was pregnant with that boy. It's just crazy. So today she saw my ring and she was like, oh my gosh. She took it off my hand. She put it on herself. She took a picture of it. <laughs> and it was just so cute. It was just so cute. But it's crazy how, you know, you can be a a part of someone's life for that long and uh, and you're doing their nail you know what I'm saying anyway I think she's really good I really all of, all of them in there except for one of them I'm not too crazy about so anyway I'm headed to the gym now after the gym actually let me do this right now so what I typically do is I'm gonna order my salad from Panera um, and Panera is a place that I eat from a lot just because I try to eat clean for the most part what you can do is you can set up a time that you want to go pick up your food so anyway you can start your order and then you can just pick it up like you don't have to see anyone they leave it there on the shelf for you with your name on it so you just gotta pick a time that you want to pick it up um, at and then you can pick up your food I think it's awesome so here's the beginning of the app you press start rapid pickup and then you can choose which store, which is funny. It has like all the ones I've ever ordered from. Like I'm a threat, harboring 38 special. I ain't the type to press you or here to impress you. I'm just trying to so shine. I have to turn my cam Well, the camera's dead. I'm using my phone now. It's just so you guys can understand what I go through, okay? So I'm in the middle of planning right now. Not done with that. Still eating my salad. Not done with that. But I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background. That's my dad playing the saxophone. My dad is a musician. We come from a line of musicians. My dad's primary instrument is the guitar and he's very, very, very good at that. He also plays the trumpet, <clears throat> which he's decently at. He gets by on piano. But saxophone is not really his strong suits. But I think he picked it back up so that he can practice and get better. Could you imagine me trying to record a video with this in the background? 
let me finish what I'm doing y'all what up guys so it is about like 3 15 I'm gonna try to catch a quick nap because I told you guys I have to work tonight I did work on my planning and um, I sent an email to some um, of our customers and stuff like that I might send out an order tonight before I go into work if not I may do it tomorrow but I'm gonna close my laptop and then go to sleep what up guys good evening your girl is headed to work this is the work beat yes Patricia do you really wear that much makeup to work yes I do so this is the hair this is the makeup and um, we're headed to work I'm actually running a little bit behind so we gotta go what up guys took a quick break it's still quite early in my shift um, and I foresee it being kind of a busy night so I gotta get ready for that um, Put my hair away this is typically what i do because i do this a lot of people think that i work in the or but i work in the icu so um i don't want it like getting into anything it's not supposed to get into and even when i wear in a ponytail unless i wear it like in a bun you know what i mean then it's really protected so i usually clip my hair up and then put this over because you know sometimes there's a lot of turning lifting and getting into things so i don't want to have to worry about my hair touching anything it's not supposed to touch so yeah, I'm just checking in with you guys. Um, it's about nine o'clock right now. I'm finished with my med pass and um, I have to get ready for an admission since I'm next up for an admission, so. What up guys? Good morning. I am back, back home. Finally, I'm tired. Do I look tired? Cause I am tired. Um, yeah, it was a pretty, Decent shift, wasn't the worst I've had. Wasn't the best, but wasn't the worst. Um, so I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep here in a little bit. Um, today's a big day. Today is the day that I go try on dresses and I have this big pimple on my cheek. Isn't it great? No, not great at all. Lisey's here. Oh, that's the part I forgot to tell you. The start of the quarter, somebody has to nominate you. She showed me the form. Well, somebody, somebody put it in. But you did something great. Really? Yeah, I like, wonder who nominated me. I don't know. Y'all say hey to Lisi. Hey guys. I'm gonna curl my hair real quick. <laughs> She's gonna be headed to work in here in a little no, bit. No, I'm not going to work. Oh, oh, that's right. To drop off my car and I have doctor's appointment. Oh, excuse me. You gotta curl your hair for doctor's appointment. <laughs> guys, this comes to the end of the vlog. Um, I'm going to, I want you to vlog the experience later, like the dresses that I try on. Okay. But, um, yeah guys, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning into this vlog slash, I did like a day in a life instead of like over a week <laughs> to baby step myself back into vlogging. Um, thank you so, to, uh, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. Um, I know you guys didn't get to see Alice earlier. Guys, it's funny because Alice has actually been vlogging, you know. She's trying to like, help me get back into the you. swing of things. Like, we have <laughs> so many clips, guys. We have clips from... Engagement weekend. Engagement weekend. Um, like, clips before the engagement weekend. I didn't know about anything. And then we had clips of the engagement um we got a lot of clips we got a lot of clips um now oh, you know what Let, let's let's roll some of them right right now no because i've been saying like we'd be having some sister moments and it'd be gold we really and we don't vlog anymore i figured that now that we're actually in the same place like and then especially since now i've been like making an effort to like try to do new things Mm -hmm. You know, and just trying new things. I'm gonna get back at it. One thing at a time, right? Back in the gym. One thing at a time. Time to start vlogging again. Yeah. You cry up your camera. It's not in the storage unit, is it? Mm -mm. It's somewhere in the room. Oh, okay. Hi, Dad. My mom. You want some food? Good. Dad, did you eat? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lion. Father. Get up. See, you see, you see how you're talking to me, Alice. Did you hear me? Did you hear how you talk to me? Did you hear? I heard. 
with love and respect and with the love of Christ. So and, then, and then look, look at who's at look at who's preaching. At, at, at least I went to church. You were there in spirit where while you were sleeping and, and snoring oh, with your mouth open. Okay? At least I was there and I can tell you what they preach. Okay? And I tell her that I pray and I pray for you. And the gentleman was there, pray for you. They yeah. pray for us. Okay? Isn't that nice, the way they pray for us? Yeah. No one knows. As much as they love you, you can sit there and talk about, you know, what you go through, but they will absolutely never understand. That's why I love online, whatever community it is, whether it's Facebook, whether it's YouTube, it's coming together with people who can understand, so that when you talk, it's kind of, it's a sigh of relief. Like, other people go through this too. You know, it's not only me. And they're dealing with it, you know, so I can deal with it too. Or they're dealing with the well, I can deal with the well too. So that's why I never hesitate to share even the, the good, but even more lately the bad too. Like what doesn't work for me because I think that helps people just as much too. Anyway, guys, so that's all we had for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, let me know down below. Hit me up with thumbs up, all that good stuff, and there will be more coming your way. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon with another video next week. Yeah, with another video. I hope this video wishes you well and good spirits. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys, and as always, bye. Given talent I got, I can't hide it, and the confidence it brings get the biddies excited, and the excitement of these biddies bring attention uninvited.